Hello everyone, welcome to B-Labs channel. Today let's make this heartbeat counter. These are the parts that are needed. Refer video description below for the buying link. Let's review the schematic. The battery gets connected to the charger board. Battery output goes to the boost module to generate 5V, which powers the nano OLED display and the sensor. This is the full schematic. Let's build it. Desolder USB connector. Apply heat on all pins for easy removal. Solder battery positive and negative terminals. Solder charger output to boost module. Connect a series switch while soldering positive terminal. Solder 5V power to nano from boost module. Connect the OLED display to the nano board on I2C line. Wire up the sensor. Use Kynar wire as the terminals are tiny. Check the circuit by connecting switch wires. Green light on the sensor should turn on. Let's put everything in the box. Stack boost board on the battery. Take the wires out and solder the switch. Next, stack nano on top and glue it. Take the sensor out of the box and resolder the terminals. Use duct tape as needed to hold parts. Place OLED screen on the top cover and glue it. Wait for the glue to settle. Plug the USB and start Arduino IDE. Download the software. Once the download is complete, the board boots up and you will see this home screen. Place a finger on the sensor and wait for the readings to stabilize. And voila, it works. The sensor output needs some calibration. Run the serial plotter and check the mid value of the pulse and update in the code as needed. By default, this is set to 515. Finally, is the accuracy good? The sensor that I have outputs this periodic noise which interfaces with the measurement. The accuracy largely depends on how light the software is. With more graphics, the accuracy goes bad. I don't have access to the original pulse sensor, but the cheap one that I have in the end is not very accurate. This is a good project for fun. I'm working on software enhancement to make it more accurate. If I succeed, I will publish it in the next video. As always, thanks for watching and hope to see you all in the next video.